In this tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at Canada and determine some of the absolute locations for some Canadian cities. So, let's look at a map of our home and native land here. So, first, Canada's relative location. Well, we're north of the majority of the United States, but we're southeast of Alaska up here, which is also part of the United States. And we're southwest of Greenland, which is over here, and it's its own country. Another way of defining Canada's relative location would be, we can say that it's between the Pacific Ocean on the west and the Atlantic Ocean on the east, and also south of the Arctic Ocean, which is up here. So there's lots of ocean around us. In fact, Canada has the longest coastline of any country in the world. So, let's switch over to our absolute descriptors now. You may have heard people say that we live north of the 49th, or north of the 49th parallel. Well, here's why. See, here's the 49th parallel right here. And you can see that a big part of our border with the U.S. runs along the 49th parallel. When the border was designed, it was meant to follow the 49th parallel right from B.C. through to Manitoba. You may have seen the boundary markers. They look like this. This one's in Surrey. You can see that Vancouver Island falls a bit below the 49th. And over here on the east side of Canada, well, there's a bunch of Canada that falls below the 49th. See above many of the provinces here? Well, that's the 60th parallel. South of the 60th, we have the western provinces, and north of the 60th, we have the Yukon, the Northwest Territories, and none of it. There used to be a TV show called North of 60, and it was all about life up here in Northwest Territories. And above that, we can see this line here, and that's the edge of the Arctic Circle. Everything on the planet north of this line is considered part of the Arctic. The Arctic Circle is about 66 degrees north. Here's a sign that you'd see if you were heading north in Alaska and arriving at the Arctic Circle. You may also notice that the lines of longitude also had some influence on the borders of many provinces. You can see that most of BC fits between 120 and 130 degrees west. Alberta mainly fits between 110 and 120 degrees west. You may wonder why the BC-Alberta border is kind of weird in this part. Well, this part of the border follows the Continental Divide. And this is an interesting line, the Continental Divide. We don't have much time to get into it, but let's do a quick description. You know how you have rivers and creeks flowing everywhere? Well, eventually all of this water finds its way to an ocean. So the question is, which ocean is the water in any particular river or creek eventually going to get to? So all of the rivers west of the Continental Divide flow to the Pacific Ocean. And all of the rivers east of this line, the Continental Divide, they flow elsewhere, like the Arctic Ocean or Hudson Bay or even the Atlantic Ocean. So, now we have a sense for the latitude and longitude all around us. Let's identify some absolute locations for some of our Canadian cities. Let's start with Vancouver. Vancouver is just above the U.S.-Canadian border, so it'll be just a little over 49 degrees. So, let's record it as 49 degrees north. Now, it's longitude. Well, we can see that it's between 120 and 130 degrees west. Certainly closer to 120 degrees. So, we'll document this as 123 degrees west. Let's try Calgary next. We can see that it's certainly north of Vancouver, so it's above 49 degrees for sure. We can also see that it's above the 50 degree north line, but not by much. It's 51 degrees north. 
we note that that's two degrees further north than Vancouver. Calgary's longitude is between 110 and 120 degrees west for sure. And it's about halfway in between, but maybe a little closer to 110. We can document Calgary's longitude as 114 degrees west. Now Vancouver is about 9 degrees further west than Calgary, we can see. Why don't we try one up north here? How about Yellowknife? Well, we can see that it's above the 60th, or north of 60, only a little ways north of it though, 62 degrees north. Looking at longitude, it's actually really similar to Calgary. See how it's about the same distance from the 110 degree line as Calgary is? In fact, Yellowknife has the same longitude as Calgary, 114 degrees west. So if you wanted to fly from Calgary to Yellowknife, you'd just head north, following the 114 degree west line of longitude. One more. Let's try one in eastern Canada. How about Toronto? Well, we can see that Toronto is below the 49th parallel, and actually it's quite a ways south of it. It's actually closer to the 40th parallel than the 50th. It's at about 43 degrees north. As for longitude, it's really close to the 80th degree line here, just a little bit east of it. So 79 degrees west. In this tutorial, we took a look at the location of Canada. We briefly considered its relative location, then spent some time focusing on absolute location, that is, latitude and longitude. We noticed that Canada is north of the 49th, meaning that much of the Canadian border runs along the line of latitude 49 degrees north. We also notice that north of the 60th is north of the western provinces, up here in the Yukon and Northwest Territories in Nunavut. Further north, we identified the Arctic Circle. We also noticed that lines of longitude were used in many cases to help establish provincial borders. Once we had a good feel for the lines of latitude and longitude within Canada, we went into a bit more detail and established the absolute locations of Vancouver, Calgary, Yellowknife, and Toronto.